Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's up, guys? Ace Money, Sportsbook Robbery. It's for uh, July 11th, Thursday. Got one game on the slate, WNBA. Uh, Chicago at New York, Liberty. Go, New York. Go, New York. Go. Uh, line check real quick. Opened at plus 11. Chicago's underdog. Uh, line stayed the same. Find 11, 11 and a half. Uh, over under 166. Uh, basically stayed the same. 166, 165 and a half. Uh, plus 470. Chicago opened up and uh, stayed the same. You can find it up to plus 490 if you would even want to risk that. Uh, they have played twice this year. Chicago took the first game. Liberty took the second. Uh, second game, they won by like 10. So spread's pretty close. But uh, playing in New York. Uh, uh, my lean towards Liberty. You know, I'm a little biased New Yorker, but uh, I think they got a better team anyway. But, uh, yeah, I'm staying off all of them. I got a few play props. Let's get into them. All right, first up, uh, and before I get into this, the reason why I go over the lines in the beginning of every video is because when you're looking for plays, in any sports and sports betting, you want to see what a starting line is. You want to see what an ending line is. Uh, certain sports, you I mean, anything, you want to beat that starting line. But also, the line movement helps you judge uh, if there's different things that are happening in the game. Could be an injury, someone not playing, uh, delayed travel. Could be just it was a soft line and they set the line too low. All these things, as well as the points, the over-unders, uh, these things help you read what's what's going to happen in the game. So I just wanted to say that because I noticed a lot of people fast forward through all that shit in the video, but I understand why you do. But I just wanted to say why I put it out there. But let's go. Uh, Marina Marbury assists over three and a half. Played this the other day. Not today. We didn't play it. Making this video uh, late Wednesday. But uh, you can get it at four and a half. It's, it's kind of juiced, minus 156. I only bet $25 a play, so I'm only winning like 20, a little less than that. But a win is better than a loss. As you see, these last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last nine games, she's gone over this. A lot of them has been four. Uh, his last three games, she's done really well. Uh, Liberty, uh, fourth in assists allows. They're pretty good at not allowing assists. But, uh, yeah, even to the guard position, still ranked fourth. Uh, if you haven't noticed, like today, we hooked uh, Carter. We had 19 points, needed, 19, uh, needed 20. Uh the books are always pretty close. So that's why I always say all line and number back if you can. Like I could get this at four. Uh, uh, four and a half. I think four is on, on the door. I don't have that. But I'd rather cash it at three and a half than miss it at four and a half. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. Good hit rate for this. She passes the ball while she scores a little bit. She usually hits like two threes a game. Uh. Last nice 20 games, 75% hit rate. Head-to-head, -head, 83%. Two times they did play, she got a lot of assists this year. They only played twice, but she got five the last game, seven the game before that. So, I mean, you could. want If you want to risk it, go ahead, but I'd rather get a guarantee. There's nothing in this sports betting world called the lock, but I'd rather get increased odds to, to help myself win. All right, let's move on. All 
All right, next up, I got Kennedy Carter points over 19 and a half. Now, it's a little risky because points line's high. I mean, a week or two ago, it was at 17 and a half, and we were killing it. Uh, the book's caught up. And, like, for instance, today we hooked her. Uh, the reason why I went back with her is because she is the primary scorer for the team. She puts up plenty of shots. And she's shooting the ball well, 53% these last 10 games. Put up 22, 21 shots. Uh, she don't shoot threes. She, you know, she, she put up two today, but shot five of them in the last 10 games. So she's not like, you know what I mean? She's in the paint. She's driving. She's a great ball handler. Um she hits a free throw, 70% free throw shooter. She gets to the line. New York's uh, third in points allowed, but to the guard position, they're ranked seventh, so it gets a little better for her. Um, head to head, she didn't go over this, but she only played like 15 minutes, so and it was only one game. She didn't play the first game, so we can't go off that. Uh, her shot selection. People that play in her position got a little 8% point differential. Other players from other teams are uh, looking crazy. But here's her shot selection. Shoots mostly under the basket, driving stuff. A little mid-range, a little bit behind the arc. But, uh, and all inside here, Liberty is like... I'm not going to say average, but the average in Garden and all. So she should be able to score. I mean, the over on this word, what I say, 168. So it's going to be, you know, uh, 80, 85, 90 points each, whatever. So plenty of points. She should get her number. Hopefully she goes over it. She don't hook it. Uh, if you have... Prize picks, you can get it at 14 and a half. That's a score. That's like a guarantee. Like I said before, there's no such thing as a lock, but Kennedy Carr is scoring 14 and a half. I'll give you the money to bet it. Look, look, look what that looks like. I got to start investing in other sites because uh, this woman's WNBA is hard to find plays, good plays, uh, an abundance of plays. But, uh, yeah, so I got Carter. You got her line at 19 and a half. They also got it at 20 and a half, so just look around. All right. Uh, I laid off Reese and Cardoza. But uh, if you want to play Reese's rebounds, it's always a good play. It's just the twice versus Liberty. She's gone under it. And they still got it at 12 and a half. Uh, she very well could go over it, but I decided to just fade it for today. Uh, use your discretion. Uh, I got a few Liberty players. Uh, Sabrina Eisenhoek assist on the six and a half, minus 140. They got it at minus 166 right now on DraftKings, so make sure you look around. Said under six and a half. Now, uh, reason why I did that is because, uh, what's her name came back? Uh, point guard. Can't think of her name. Vandersloot. Vandersloot was out all these games over here, and she was killing it on her assist. And since she's been back, she's gone under this. And, if, uh, Break it down even further. Like when she was playing too, she went under this. So I figured I'd give it a shot. It's normally backfires on me. If I go under, usually a person goes off. <laughs> but uh, I give it a shot. Last five games, I think it's a hundred percent, hundred percent hit rate on the six and a half. Uh, for the year, she's gone under the sixty-one percent. 
head to head. I believe she's gone under it both times. Yeah, they only played twice this year. She had four and six. She does play plenty of minutes and everything else. Uh, Chicago sixth overall in assists, seventh into the guard position. But uh, I'm hoping that she gets five assists. Shit, she can get six for all I care. But to get seven, that's why I grabbed that six and a half. But uh, I also played her points. I'm going to get right into that. Now, I fuck around and I played it at 19 and a half. Jerry Kings didn't have their lines out. It's 1.30 in the morning right now and they just came out. So I'm giving it to you at 18 and a half. Obviously, that's what you would want to play. Minus 125 on DraftKings. So it sucks about FanDuel. I can't cash out. In DraftKings, you can place a bet and cash out. You might lose 2 or $3. But I knew I should have waited. But I was trying to get this video done. This Between the video and making the thumbnail and all that shit, this stuff takes time. I do it all myself. I've been teaching myself. I've been doing it for a couple months now, as you guys know. But, uh, yeah, points-wise, you already know she's a baller. Let's see what she's been doing. Last five games, she had 21 today against Connecticut, and they're a good defensive team. 22 against Indiana. Uh, went over this three out of five. Head-to-head, -head, she's gone over this. Two times this year, the two times they played, 19 and 24. Uh, she's exceeded 18 and a half points in seven or nine games, averaging a little over 21 points. Uh, Chicago's fifth in points allowed, fifth in points allowed to the guard position. So, uh, yeah, she shoots the ball well, too. She, if she's on with her three, she should kill this line. Uh, they're playing at home as well. She's shooting 40% from the field, 34% from three, 70% from the foul line. It's all looking good to me. Uh, shot selection. Uh, Players that play like her in her position, average point difference, 13%, 67% hit rate. It's in the green, 13% good, whatever that means. Uh, it's her shot selection, 21 under the basket, 18 in the paint, 10% in the mid-range, and 46 behind the arc. A little 4% in the baseline. And... You know, they just, basically, it's a shoot-around for her, the way this defense looks. The only spot they defend good is right here, where Cardoza usually is in the paint. So, it ain't nothing to uh, Sabrina. She can shoot that ball. So, it looks good. They're playing at home. Uh, they lost one of these games. They're going to want to win this second one. This third game, I mean, and win the series. Uh They've been playing real well lately. So hopefully she goes over it. Like I said, keep your eyes open. Just take out an 18 and a half on DraftKings. Like a full hard play to 19 and a half. But uh, definitely play at 18 and a half. Line shop, all lines. Do what you got to do to increase your chances to win. Let's get it. Uh, I'd like to take this time and ask you if you could like the video. My new viewers, please subscribe. Everyone turn the notifications on. So you get my live bets. Uh, WNBA don't have them. I'm sorry. It's just a habit. Uh, you get my live bets, my plays. Uh, any info I want to put out there, uh, parlays, anything I do, you know, it helps me keep in contact with you guys as well as alerts you when you drop videos and so on and so forth. If you could like the video, uh, and leave a comment. Uh, you can say anything, it doesn't matter, or you can just give some feedback. Let me know how you're doing, if you won, if you played something. Likes and comments help get the videos out there, help get them shared. 
as well as helps me know what to do if I'm doing something, if I should change something. But uh, I notice I have been getting more subscribers. I do appreciate everybody. Uh, hope you're winning. I know it's up and down. I believe me, I do try. I, I bet every play I give you guys, this is what I do. Uh, appreciate it. Let's keep it moving. Brianna Stewart rebounds over nine and a half. I was really trying to find it at eight and a half. I was gonna play her points and points and rebounds. I decided to go with just the rebounds. Uh, you got it on seven and a half on prize picks. If you can find it lower than nine and a half, obviously take it. Uh, Chicago is seventh in rebounds allowed. It's only 12 teams, so it's kind of end of the pack. Uh, she's a forward. It gets even better. Rebounds allowed, rank eighth. Uh, it's at even money, too. On, uh, look, it's, it's crazy. If you look, it says FanDuel plus 100, DraftKings plus 100, FanDuel minus 102. So I've been trying to tell you, you got to be careful when you're on FanDuel too. Because I've noticed sometimes I place a bet and I can get it. They have it at like seven and a half or, or eight plus, And it's really the same thing with that, different odds. But uh, yeah, she had 14 against Connecticut. They're a good rebounding team. I don't know what happened this game. But uh, 17 against Minnesota, 12 against Atlanta, 11. Uh, she plays plenty of minutes. She's exceeded eight and a half rebounds in four of the last five games, averaging 12. Head to head, she's gone over this both times. Uh, yeah, both times. Every time they've played, but they only played twice this year. She had 10 and then 14. Um, a double doubles at even money. If. Uh, She's definitely going to score 10 points, so you can play that if you wanted to. Uh, the lower it is, minus 105. It was like plus 105 earlier. But, uh, yeah, I think she's going to go over it. Uh, they're both on a back-to-back, -back, but they played early today, uh, Wednesday. Played an 11 o'clock game. I think the other one played a 12 o'clock game. But uh, Chicago shoots the ball pretty poorly. They're 11th in field goal percentage. It says right here, 42%. I mean, they're all pretty close in the numbers, but they're ranked 11th. So it should be some rebounds. Uh, Reese rebounds, mostly defensive rebounds. So you don't really get offensive rebounds, so... Stewie will grab them. Um, Cardoza does get a few offensive rebounds if she's on the, on the court. Well, who knows? Last 20 games, 55% hit rate for the year, 52% hit rate. And head-to-head, -head, she's blowing it out the water. So I'm going with it. Like I said, I was juggling with points and rebounds. She's killed this. Uh... In the last game, she had 33 points and 14 rebounds. But, I don't know. Sometimes when I play points and rebounds, like I did with Hamby the other day, she went over on a point, she didn't have enough rebounds. So I kind of left the sour taste in my mouth. But four out of the last five, she's gone over this. Six out of the last ten. I mean, use your discretion. What I did was I just played the rebounds. I figure both teams might be a little tired on the back-to-back. -back, might miss a couple shots. You know, Stewie's out there. She's a beast. She's hustling. Trying to get to that championship this year and actually win it. All right, so I got five plays. If I got anything else, I'll see tomorrow. I'll drop it in. It's late Wednesday night. It's early. It's 1.30 in the morning, 1.40. Wednesday night, uh, Thursday morning, so... Tomorrow, meaning Thursday, the day of the game, uh, I'll drop it in the pin. I'll pin them in the comments or I'll drop it in the community. 
decent day. When uh, what do we do? Five right, four wrong, and 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 uh, Hamilton didn't play. Amy Hamley Hamilton, whatever her name is, she didn't play. So uh, and then a couple we missed. We hooked one. We hooked uh, the Carter, and then uh, what do you? Smith, like, she was getting 10, 12, 14 rebounds the last couple of days. She got, like, three today. But, uh, yeah, we were in the in the black. I call it the green, but it's really the black. All right. Appreciate everyone. I'm tired. Let's get some rest. East Money didn't even get people to game. Let's go. Like, subscribe, comment. <laughs>